Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to do a dim effect in PowerPoint. Now, it's really, it's a really cool way of helping people to keep their attention on what you're talking about and take their attention away from the previous points. Now, the best part about that is it allows people to stay focused on what you're actually saying in the here and now. And that's really what you want to be able to do. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. Now, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. So let's go check out the dim effect now. Okay, now in this part of the video, we're going to be talking about how to do a dim effect. Now, there's plenty of reasons why you might want to do a dim effect. Primarily, if you're in front of the audience or you're doing even a screen share like we're doing right now where I'm on screen and I want to have the person's attention on what the words are saying and then off the words and maybe even onto the speaker themselves, this is a good way of doing it. Also, too, if you want to have it that you're, you're wanting to have the highlighting the main point that you're wanting to point out at that particular moment in time, then you can do that as well. So let's go and have a look at how this actually looks. Well, the first one is point one. It's an awesome effect. And then point two helps to keep your audience focused. Now, you see how point one was highlighted. I'll go back again. It's highlighted. And then when I went to point two, it dulled down and point two highlighted up as it flew in. Now, in point three, you know, it allows for less distractions, which is true. And as you can see, it's also doing the same thing again. And also, point four, the attention is on the speaker, not on as and what the speaker is actually saying, not on all the other words on the screen. And it's less points to distract. So let's have a look at what it looks like without the effects. Now, that is a lot more, there's too much information there. It's too overwhelming for most people. And they'll be looking at that going, oh my goodness, too much information, T too distracting. You know, it's, it's really is distracting from what the person's saying. They're too busy reading the points on the screen rather than listening to what you're actually saying. So how do we, how do we actually get this effect here? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's jump into PowerPoint now. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do is go over to this particular slide here where there is no effect. And what I'm planning on doing is I plan on highlighting every single thing on here. And then I plan on going over here to animation. And the first thing we're going to be doing is have the flying effect. Now, I like to have my flying effect coming in either from the left or from the right. And I think in this particular case, I'm going to have it coming in from the right. Oh, for, sorry, from the left. So I have it coming in from over here. Now, the next thing we want to do is make sure we have the animation pane. So we're in the animation section. We click on this button right here, which says animation pane. We click on that and that opens that up. And as you can see, if I click on the bottom one, we can then have it all start on click. Now, what we need to do is I'm going to click on this one and then we're going to hit the control button hold the control button down, I'm going to click on this one, hold the control button down, click on this one, and hold the control button down and click on this one. I don't wish to hold the bottom button down, primarily because if I go to another screen, I don't want that one distracting from the next point. So let me show you how this works. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom one down here, and then we're going to go here to Effect Options. We're going to click on that. And over here, where it says After Animation, you see where it says Don't Dim? We click on the drop down menu just here and we hit the we can actually hit one of these colors here now i actually got a color which was you know, maybe this one here we can choose this one and as you can see it's very close to the background color we have there but i wanted it to be a little bit darker so i created a slightly darker background how i did that was i went to more colors and i took this and i made it a bit darker and this way it blended in with the background just a little bit better and then we went like that now it can be the same thing if you have a white background if you have a white background you can make it lighter in color so what we're doing here is we now go okay and we hit all right and as you can see 
it's doing that. Now, let me show you something. When we go to this particular slide here, we go to the slideshow from current slide. Now, if I was to hit the downward button, you'll see that point comes up. And if I hit the downward button again, the other one fades out and this one comes in. Does the same thing again, it fades out and the third point comes in, fourth point comes in, and fifth point comes in. And then it'll allow me to go straight across to the next screen. Allow me to show you what that looks like from the first screen. Now this is the first screen. We're going to go here. We're going to go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, back to 0 0.1. Now there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Let me just go back here. I'm just going to hit the escape button. In 0 0.1, there we are. We can make it either start with previous, which would probably be the best bet because when your second slide on your second screen, we can make that one start with previous. Because what's going to happen there is when you jump from this slide to this slide, that first slide is going to come straight in. Now, if we were to go from beginning and we were to go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, then 0 0.6, as you can see it's come straight in. I didn't have to click the button twice. And then it just goes straight into the next point, etc. until it gets to the last point. And as you can see, that dim effect makes it a lot less distracting on the screen. It's a lot less overwhelming for most people and they're not busy sitting there reading what all the other points are saying. Primarily because it's going to be really hard for them to see it anyway. So that is how you do the dim effect. Now, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Guys, I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.